can hardly believe the fact that I am in Bali. How is this even like real life? How? I'm literally so excited. Just got some food at Shady Shack. I like a vegan cheeseburger. It was alright. Later, I'm going to watch Green Tea Bag, which is actually like so exciting. So, so, so excited. Right now, I'm waiting for my grab bike. I think he's here to go to Green Tea Bag. It's nearly six o'clock. And uh, yeah, there's my bad bike. This is fit. Copenhagen to go get some breakfast and then when I come back and then I'm gonna get my bike and then I'm gonna go to the beach then we'll just see what happens for the rest of the day this is some oat porridge a vegan cinnamon roll and a smoothie bowl this is my Bali scooter the breakfast of Copenhagen was very good. Now I'm going to head to the beach cafe to La Pisa. This trip was totally spontaneous. I had decided the week before that I was going to fly to Bali mainly for the purpose to watch green tea paying and i'm so glad that i did it but it was really unplanned and so everything i was doing i was just winging it and i honestly had such an incredible time in bali but at this particular beach club i wasn't really feeling the vibe perhaps i was early and so there wasn't much going on but you know i didn't enjoy the fact that i had to pay um, to be able to just enjoy the beach being here was a literal dream come true. Like you cannot understand how many times I've dreamt of being in Indonesia and then having the opportunity to see Green Tea Peng. She's literally one of my biggest inspirations. It, like I still can't quite get over the fact that this trip actually happened as spontaneous as it was.
I'll be sharing some of my favorite quotes from the book and you pray love has been such an inspiration in my life and just the whole trip to Bali overall was just really inspiring and it has really really made a shift in my life in general where there is no rush to do anything and I can take my time to truly savor and enjoy each moment of the day. You see this morning skinny? I look all kinds of shredded. I just finished the 
Sog and have you great. Now I'm at I Am Vegan Bay. This is a place I wanted to come to the other day but it was closed. So it's open now so now I'm just going to get some lunch and yeah. I love driving in Bali. I love driving on an island in general because it's so much slower paced than driving in a city. Look at this cheeseburger. It's double cheeseburger. It looks really good. So it started raining. It is raining while I was driving. Received a notification of like one of uh, a comment on one of my YouTube channels, and this lady said um, that she loves my videos and I should keep creating, and one day all of my dreams will come true. And that's literally just that's like so sweet that it feels like such it's just such a nice comment to receive. And honestly, thank you. Since I've just been reading E Pray Love, it just made me realize even more like this is something that I already know that. I really need to be in a place where I can just take the time to just really just focus on my spiritual growth and devotion and not have any distractions of like the outside world. I mean, you guys may not know, but like traveling isn't my constant, you know, I don't do this for a lifestyle. I have work. I literally go to work. I live in Vietnam. I work in Vietnam. And then I just travel around and then I go back to work and then, you know. But obviously the goal and the dream is to just be able to just do this as a living and just do some other things that make me feel that I have a purpose in this life. So that's my main thing right now that I want to just grow spiritually and I want to do something with purpose, with a really good intention to just help people to help myself but I know I've got a long way to go because I have a lot of growth to do within myself because I'm not where I want to be spiritually and I'm just trying to find myself and this is what this whole life is about it's about finding ourselves and one of my favorite quotes from the book is that we should be scientists of our own spiritual growth this is really dig deep and be curious about our spiritual growth because they say it's a blessing to come into this life as a human and to be able to be human is a big blessing that we need to appreciate because not every not every creature on this planet can be able to be a self-conscious and fully realized being you know the plants and birds and bees don't get that opportunity but we do as humans and so we're lucky to be reincarnated here as humans and we should give ourselves that opportunity to be able to find that happiness and everlasting bliss by going into the depths of our minds and creating heaven on earth for ourselves being happy and that's honestly what I want to what I want for myself what I want in this life is to be able to get there and yeah I just I have plans but I don't always know how I'm gonna get there I feel so at peace being here in Bali like it's crazy I haven't really spoken to a lot of people and that's okay like, I don't mind solitude and being alone that's where I am most comfortable and I thrive in my solitude and silence I guess you guys will be here for the ride for the journey and I guess we'll see where this whole thing ends up where I end up in this life. Like look at how nice this villa is. I mean it's not probably not the best villa you could find in Bali but it's still pretty nice. Like I always kind of imagine that when I come to Bali I'd have my own villa, like a really cute place, like you know, Pinterest vibe. And I will because I'm still coming back to Bali like one thousand percent. Like this trip was totally spontaneous and you know not planned you know but i'm gonna come back to bali and i'm gonna have my own villa and yeah i'm excited for that i'm excited
but I like Bali. I like it very much. Now I'm on the way to the beach. taken too far deep and too far deep for me it's just like if I can't touch the ocean floor I'm like ah, I need to swim I'm gonna die but yeah it was nice it was really nice but it's super cloudy today so you probably won't have as great of a sunset which is a bummer but still soaking the vibes my last my last full day in Bali I'm gonna be back. That's like the only thing that's making me not so sad is because I know I'm gonna be back. I don't know if you can tell, but that little sunshine that's reflecting on the ocean there every day. So pretty. Just there. Incredibly peaceful for me. I loved every minute of being there. The food was just delicious. The vibe was calming and I enjoyed my solitude and silence. I didn't really meet a lot of people, but that's okay. That's part of the reason why I love solo traveling. I cannot wait to be back in Bali and to enjoy spending longer periods of time there. Thank you for being here with me and sharing these memories with me. And I'll see you soon.